Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's April 24th. This is the BAM Muni Market Weekly Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and Chris Flossy from BAM's Capital Markets Desks. Uh, Dan, let's start with you this week. Uh, more signs of stability in the municipal secondary market and in yields, and that uh, brought some more transactions into the primary market. What were the key drivers on that side? Yeah, Mike, it, it, it seems like every week we go through here, we get a little bit, little bit more stability in, in uh, both the equity markets and the bond markets. We've certainly seen that in the bond markets as this, this week's uh, range on the 10-year treasury, which is closing out at 60 basis points, was an 11 basis point range, you know, pretty narrow spread. Um, we did see a little bit of pressure on, on the municipal market as 10-year uh, and 30-year MMD backed up in the neighborhood of uh, 20 or so basis points. Um, so a little bit of pressure as the market digests some of the calendar, uh, expectations of a calendar, and uh, the ultimate placement of that uh, sort of pen up, pen up calendar that's been building. But those higher yields might have attracted more transactions into the primary market. Is that a fair uh, read? Uh, yeah, exactly. You know, the deals that have been and have been coming to market tend to be more higher quality names. Um, and it seems like uh, every deal that is uh, set up to go is met with very good investor demand. So let's take a look and let's shift over and talk a little more about the details in the primary market with you, Chris. Um, I know BAM's uh, volume in the primary market, yeah, BAM's volume in the primary market increased significantly this week. What were the standouts? Yeah, so this year was very solid for BAM on the primary market. We had roughly 29 transactions for 320 million of par insured. Uh, some of the highlights of the larger transactions were the Irvine CFD that was underwritten by Stiefel. Uh, it was a larger transaction where BAM insured roughly $47 million of uh, par on that deal. Um, and then we move over to the Rift Townships High School District in Illinois, underwritten by R.W. Baird. That was roughly $36 million across two series. And uh, finally, we, ra we rounded out the week with a Colorado deal with the Wyndham Hills Metro District uh, that was underwritten by Piper Sandler. That was $20 million. Chris, let's just jump back over to the secondary market. What kind of activity did you see there? So following off of the following the primary market, BAM had another solid week in the secondary where we insured roughly 200 million of par. Um, we're getting a lot of inquiry across names across all sectors and states. So a lot of the focus lately has been on the toll road sector uh, and others and other sectors such as higher ed, student housing. So all sectors in which BAM insures, just getting a lot of follow up, a lot of questions, and a lot of inquiry. And we're seeing in the current market across the credit spectrum as well, right? So a, a significant number of those transactions are coming with uh, AA underlying ratings as well, right? Correct. A lot of that activity has been in the, the AA sector, so it's a good opportunity to have dialogue with traders and portfolio managers where they see the value for insurance. And so, Dan, there was some uh, additional noise around the market. Senator McConnell uh, was on a talk radio show, and he opened the door to state bankruptcy. Uh, that's something that's not currently legal under federal law and was last talked about during the financial crisis. I know it uh, prompted a lot of phone calls across the market. What, uh, what have you been hearing about its impact? Yes, so I, I mentioned that the uh, MMD and the municipal market yields did back up a little bit. I think part of that was attributable to McConnell's comments. And while I think most people recognize that that, that is probably some uh, large degree uh, of political wrangling between uh, the politicians here, it did uh, uh, create a lot of discussion about the prospects of that and what, 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 what the ultimate fallout would be. And the steps to that taking place are still, it would be a long road. You'd need both houses of Congress to pass legislation. The president would have to sign it. And then there would be a constitutional question, as I understand. It would have to go to the Supreme Court. So that's not something that's happening anytime soon. No, and, and the pushback, the immediate pushback that we saw from some of the uh, governors, I think, highlights the uh, sensitivity of the issue and the challenges that that would entail. And we know, um, you know, people like the National League of Cities and other forces in uh, Washington, D.C. are really focused on getting direct aid to cities and local governments. Um, and that's a, that's a process that's moving forward, hopefully, in the, the phase four uh, stimulus package in, in the next couple of weeks. Very good. Well, thanks for your time, gentlemen. We'll uh, talk to you next week. All right. Great. Thanks, Mike. See you later. market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of volatility and illiquidity, BAM-insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, 
pension issues, and economic disruption like the one we're experiencing right now. Bam. Build America Mutual. Ask your broker about BAM-insured municipal bonds.